dividend ETF review video. Today is March 25th, 2024. Today we're looking at Morgan Stanley Investment Management's PAPI, P-A-P-I, Parametric Equity Premium Income ETF. Let's jump right in. The fund's objective is to, to provide consistent monthly income while maintaining prospectus for capital appreciation. Why PAPI? You can gain exposure to actively managed portfolios of U.S. companies that have demonstrated high current income with a systematic call writing program that seeks to generate additional yield. You can tap into two proven parametric capabilities, systemic dividend income and rules-based call selling in a single efficient vehicle. This allows you access to a low cost and transparent ETF that seeks competitive performance, consistent monthly income distributions, and tax efficiency. Some key facts, this fund has been around since October 16, 2023, currently has $34.2 million under management. Morningstar does not yet have a star rating for this, but they do classify this as derivative income, not rated. Currently has 188 underlying holdings. Its asset allocation is 98.55% in equities. It is getting income from derivatives, as we said before in the description. Um, it is an actively managed fund, and it is not a leveraged or an inverse ETF. The current expense ratio of this fund is 0.29%. The PDE ratio is 16.22. It does distribute dividends on a monthly basis, and the last dividend payout was $0.14 cents per share. It has a current share price of $26.41 per share. Not enough information available for portfolio turnover yet. Has a trailing 12-month distribution yield of a calculated 6.57%. The 30-day distribution yield sits at 3.04%. It has a year-to-date total of 1.45% and a one-year total return not yet available. The lifetime total return since inception is down a negative 0.04%. The management team has a combined experience of over 119 years. There are five managers in total currently. The top 10 holdings, the index that this follows is the Russell 1000 Value Index and the ICE Bank of America 3-Month U.S. Treasury Bill Index. The number one holding, as you'll see, these are all equally, pretty equally divvied out. The number one holding, Devon Energy Corp. at 1.02%, FMC Corp. at 0.99%, National Fuel at 0.98%, Cap Tapestry at, at 0.87%, Ta uh, Texas Roadhouse at 0.84%, Bristol Myers Squibb at 0.84%, Baker Hughes Co's Class A at 0.83, MDC Holdings at 0.83, Valero Energy 0.79, and lastly, Paychex at 0.79. The sector breakdown is also equally distributed. Financials 11.44%, Industrials 11.31%, Healthcare 11.27%, Consumer Discretionary 11.10%, Consumer Staples 10.94%, Materials 10.87%, Energy 10.86, Utilities 10.72, Information Technologies 8.56, and lastly, Communication Services at 2.94%. The geographic footprint of this ETF, PAPI, is United States 98.78%, some Switzerland exposure at 0.68%, and some exposure to the United Kingdom at 0.55%. I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next Dividend ETF review video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab. You can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you an awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use, uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.